Hi everyone, welcome back to Fragmental. Here he is, back again. We yeah. can't keep him away. You love him, I love him. Always great to have Aaron on the channel. Aaron is a perfumer. If you've not seen any of the previous perfumer rates videos, I give him some fragrances from my collection and he gives us his honest opinion. Yes, as okay. always, yes. Ready for more games? Ready for more games, let's do it. More games. Stay tuned to FM. Aaron was good enough to come back onto my channel again and uh, give his opinion on some more fragrances. As with the previous video, he doesn't know what they are. With the perfumer rates cheapies, he did know they, they were cheapies and a few people mentioned it would be fun if maybe he didn't know uh, what type of fragrances they were. So this is completely blind, no preconceptions. I've got five fragrances from my collection for Aaron to smell and rate. And at the end of the video, I will let Aaron know what those fragrances are, but you will know as he smells them because I'm going to put it up on screen. So let's okay, play. Right. Let's do, do it. it. All right. So here is the uh, first fragrance. There you go. Not as good as the last lot, but not as cheap as the um, first lot. So it sort of sits. So you between. mean you mean in the previous video? So some of my favourites yeah. in the other video and the cheapest video. So you think somewhere in the middle of cheapies and my very favorites. very high street. Very, very high street fragrance. Mm -hmm. Not, um, but again, it's, it's, uh, it's blended. Yeah. Uh, I can smell uh, cinnamon, cinnamon al um, aldehyde. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the, the the dominant thing that's coming through. Yeah. Does that, what kind of a chord does that um, do? So, so it's, it, it's uh, cinnamon alcohol is in cinnamon. So it's, so it's, a, it's a cinnamon, uh, yeah. a synthetic cinnamon, yeah? Yes. Right. Okay. Actually, so, so it's uh, fluffy, so it's got like a fluffiness to it. Yeah. I don't think this is a man's one. I'd be surprised if it's a if it's a man's one, to be honest. I'm saying nothing till the end of the video. I'm not I'm not influencing anything. So, do you like it? Would you wear it? I, I wouldn't wear it. It's it's no? it's sweet, uh, balsamic, uh, sitting more on the oriental sort of side. Out of ten, what would you give that one? About six. Yep. I, I think it's okay. Okay. It doesn't smell of luxury to me. It doesn't smell of uh, sex. There's no sex. There's no luxury. Mm -hmm. There's no. Um, it's very balsamic. So I know it's got uh, sort of the um, sort of the benzo benzoatin, which is the main constituent in benzoin, with um, the cinema, the cinema alcohol. Mm -hmm. No citrus top notes, so I don't really smell the uh, massive, brrr, you know. Yeah, no, the, I don't. I don't get the that citrus. From the soft, uh, floral. Yeah. Um, white, lots of sort of a white flower or cord going for it. Yeah. It's actually very nice now. The um, very soft, very mellow, very mellow, very soft. But the, okay. the must they're using is making it smell fluffy. So you have that yeah. sort of fluffy, and that's the, yeah. the, the background. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, it's sort of fluffy, and that's why I think fluffy fragrances tend to be aimed sort of more, uh, slightly more feminine. Slightly more feminine. Yeah. But I really prefer some, I don't really like uber masculine fragrances. I actually yeah. quite like more unisex, more okay. fluffy. Does this one speak to you then? I think it's very nice. I think it's um, yeah, it's better if you wear it. So I As think this on the skin would be really nice. Uh, sort of, it's an Oriental. I like so I love my pers my my whole brand's pretty much Orientals. I love Oriental fragrances. I think they're beautiful. Yeah. Out of ten, what would you give it? Mm, now the top notes gone. Probably about seven. Great. Okay, we'll come back to it. We're going to come back to all these to have a quick second sniff at the end of the video, uh, so our can change. I, I, I like benzoin and vanilla and uh, cinnamon alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, I sort of I like that sort of smell. Yeah. I don't like grapefruit. I hate grapefruit. No, I don't like it at all. It's cheap. A lot of aroma chemicals, not much naturals. Really okay. fantastic fragrances yeah. are combinations of both and blended to smell really um, 
sort of round, it has a really roundness to it, so you can't smell, you can't differentiate between aroma chemicals and naturals. Mm -hmm. This to me, no, this to me is like the colour, um, no, I don't like it. But again, it's really well blended, but like person, so on a personal level, I absolutely don't like it because of the, um, you know, that sort of like uh, drain, that green, it's the, I don't like green fragrances. Mm -hmm. So the green to the citrus I really don't like. Yeah. Not very exciting. Okay. All right. Yeah. So out of 10? About four. Fine. All right. A bit boring. Next one. All aroma chemicals, disappointing. So when I smell something like this, mm -hmm. I feel disappointed because it's um, very linear, nothing very special, bit boring. It's just very linear, it's, it's not very exciting, so I don't feel, but again, it's, it's well blended because yep. I can't smell the aroma chemicals. I can't sort of smell the naturals, it sort of smells very flat. Yeah. And, um, sort of flat and very smooth but it's it's missing uh, I'd like to see in this much more um, bottom bass notes and then I think okay. it'd be very nice just gonna do something quickly excuse me I just had a, an idea whilst I was doing this you keep smelling that smell that one how does that do you think it's different in any way do you think how does it compare they smell similar they smell different I know so this, they're similar, but this smells cheaper. Okay, the first one I gave you. Yeah. Yeah, this, so this, this has got more aroma chemicals, so smelling between the two, more aroma chemicals mm -hmm. in this one. This, do you know what this smells like? A boring Tom Ford. So that, that's what it sounds like. I think Tom Ford, so, so Tom Ford, I love the original Tom Ford. That's why I started my journey, because I love Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. But I think it's is boring. Yeah. I think it's so boring, I think. Both but, of them, you think, you, that, you're saying that about both? Yeah, both I don't, I don't yeah. like this one at all. Okay. This one smells like a, uh, this one smells like a, the cheaper cousin of this. So this cousin right. would buy designer clothes and this one would buy the knockoff down the market. Interesting. All right, out of 10? For the first one I gave you, that's the, what you're This rating. one actually projects more and this has more, uh, so this one, because yeah. the aroma can I mean, that is more freshly sprayed, yeah. so maybe it's because of that, so. I just don't think it's all right. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it's very um, exciting. To be okay, yeah, okay, all right. Okay. Out of 10, what did you say? Uh, very well blended. Yeah. So from a professional point of view, probably about six or seven. Okay. But it's, it's lacking the heavy bass notes. Right. Uh, from a personal level, probably about four, I think it's boring. Yeah, that was the first one, not the second one I gave yeah, you. Yeah, second one's yeah. more top notes in it, yeah. so probably project more, but they both, they're both, to me, smelling the same sort of like family. Mm. So one's been extended more, one's sort of more safe. One's trying to be a bit more safe. One smells like the, uh, like the mad aunt who's coming into a party. First or second? She, the second one, you know, the, right. the strong one's thinking she's like crazy. <laughs> the mad aunt. Love the it. mad aunt, but the, the first one's like, it's, it's, it's just very great. safe and linear. Yeah. Okay, great, okay. So, um, sorry, what did you say, six for that one? That's yeah. six, okay. yeah. All right. These are so much better because they're, you, they, they're sort of blended and smooth. Better than what? The first lot. The cheapest? Yeah. Right. So linalol is the top note. The, it's the linalol, ethyl linalol is the sort mm -hmm. of the, the extension to it. Yeah. Sweetness, you can smell, I can smell the kumara in the sort of the tonka bean, yeah. the sandalwoods, this is very nice. The musk, yeah, so it's a sweet, I know what musk they're using. I know exactly what musk they're using. What musk is it? Uh, ethyl brass rate. So it's a sweet balsamic, very nice uh, industrially used musk. Okay. All right. So I'm getting the impression you're quite liking that one. Yeah, so I love very sweet balsamic fragrances. So this is a very personal thing. They're mm -hmm. all really well, they're all very well crafted. So I think they're all very, very well blended. But I like I like sweetness to cherries. So I'm, so I'm picking up sort of like cherry, fruity. I, I agree with that. So I'm picking up like the cherry, the plum, you know, that sort of like red um, mm -hmm. fruit, kumarin. It's sweet, isn't it, that one? Yeah, so you, I, what, I what like, kind of sweetness speaks to you about that? 
it's like it's like red dark red fruit ripe whiny red fruit mixed with the kumari mixed with the woods mixed with the musk on the top note the uh, extension of the sort of linalol the ethyl linalols that's sort of what i'm smelling is that sort of like the, the sort of the trail does that make okay. sense yeah yeah absolutely. and then the cherry is like the cherries so when cherry the, so the when the, yeah when the linalol sort of comes off the linalol is yeah. very very fast yeah. you're getting the red cherry yeah mix so when you mix the cherry with like the um so benzyl acetate or benzyl alcohol benzyl alcohol smells of um, almonds and i'm smelling benzyl alcohol mixed with kumari mixed with the cherry so it oh. gives you that sort of like if you if you smell it you'll smell cherry and um almond mm -hmm. do you know what i mean yeah yeah i do um what would you rate it would you wear it is it a fragrance you would rock i think it's uh, more female i don't think it's, it's again it's got no heaviness to it so it's got no um Soft and fluffy. Yeah, I think a lot. Of, uh, you know, I my personal opinion is off strips. I think a lot of the base notes perhaps don't uh, don't come across like they would do on skin. Um, my opinion. It, it, I think it's nice. I think it's nicely created that I wouldn't wear it. But then okay. I'm, not, I'm not a sweet person. Right. Out of ten. Uh, about it. About um, seven or eight. There's nothing to me that I would consider like fantastically outstanding, hysterical. I've got to go and buy it now. But they're nice. Okay. This is the last one. Final one. Um, boring. It's I can I've smelled this like everywhere. You know, this really? sort of like yeah, this sort of like fruity core with the ambroxin with this sort of citrus top note. It's going down to wood. It's going down to musk. It's just really boring. Why don't they do something different? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure many people out there. I think it's very so. so okay, so this is a younger fragrance. I think it's very well crafted. Mm -hmm. Good perfumer. Smells like a Dior fragrance. It's all right, but boring. You know, of all of all the thousands of fragrance chemicals out there, why don't they make something? They put millions, billions of pounds behind them. Why don't they make something unique? Why don't they make something exciting? Yeah. Why are they, Why are they sticking with safe? Fragrance industry needs shaking up. Well. I mean, one of the reasons they stick with safe is that uh, it sells, and sure. uh, I, I will say that this DNA is probably one of the biggest sells, if not yeah. the biggest sell. I like the um, sort of like the geranium. It's like a um, that sort of like green, fruity yeah. top note going into sort of like you've got the fruit in it yeah. to give it the sweetness. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nicely created, but mm -hmm. boring. Okay. Basic. Okay. Great. Let's have a quick sniff through the rest of them. Just a quick one, just to give you final thoughts. And I'll, as you do, I will let you know what they all are. So uh, first one, there you go. Just see if you still feel the same way about that. Yeah, the, the, of all of them, but then I like, I like balsamic. I like vanilla. Mm -hmm. I like um, benzoin. I like um, orientals. Yeah. Yeah, I'd wear this. Okay. I'm just going to do another thing real quick again. And everyone at home will know exactly why I'm doing this. But you keep smelling that while I spray this and we'll just get your quick, I know this is freshly sprayed so it's really not fair. Nice sis, I like the way the cinnamon alcohol mixes with sort of the unboxing and the um, darkness. I love orientals though. How does that compare to that? No, not same at all. Better, worse? I prefer this. The first one? Yeah, right. absolutely. Okay. L much louder. So this is um, much louder, much more projection to it, but it's missing the darkness on the bottom. But they're both very good. Yeah. But I think I think that from a personal point of view, I like the first one purely because it's something like what I would create. Okay. So I'm going with like from, I think they're both all right, but I would prefer I love benzoin and I love vanilla. I think it's really mm -hmm. sexy. So, a heavy musk, I think. Okay. So you prefer the first one? But this is more top heavy. Right. I prefer bottom heavy, okay. fixed tears and yeah. musks. So, this fragrance is, um, the one that we used in the test, the first one is a clone from a company called Alexandria Fragrances. Okay. It's a copy of Nasamato's Pardon. I have no idea what that is, but. Yeah, okay, so you, uh, out of these two, because I just sprayed the real Pardon, you, you said you prefer the way that the, um, and, and for the record, I think this is one of Alexandria's best 
clone fragrances. But I think it it really. Uh, I've had great reactions in the public from from wearing no apologies. So um, what I'm smelling, I don't know what. I don't smell clones. I don't know what. No, 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 no. Are. I expect you to so know what is different. You're I'm, just saying what you like, what which is what we wanted I think in they're this both video. Very well crafted. Yeah. But on a personal level, you prefer I prefer things one. that are heavy, yeah. vanilla, benzoin. Yeah. So from a personal point of view, you prefer the Alexandria no apologies. But I can sort of smell. I can sort of smell that they're similar, but this is more yeah. top heavy. Yes. Yeah. This projects more. This okay. is more bottom heavy. Interesting. All right. Great. Next one. Yeah, for them. Okay. Sticking with the same feelings about that one then. All right, quick uh, reassess of this, just to make sure uh, you're still feeling the same way about it. Yeah, you didn't like this one first time around. No, I don't like it. No, I don't, I similar don't like, thoughts? I, yeah, I don't like green. Okay. I don't like very green. Um... Well, they don't publicly say this, but it's very similar to Amouage's Interlude Man, Hi. which is this kind of smoky, dark incense scent. Um, I've, I, Amouage made the Reflection Man one that you smelled earlier. Okay. So that is a very, the brand is very opulent. Very I nice wouldn't and put and grapefruit with incense. I don't, I think the two are um, yeah. too jarring and not yeah. smooth. I don't know it? if it's a grapefruit accord or, or if it's actual yeah, it's a great, grapefruit. No, it's, it's a grapefruit accord because you yeah. can smell, how I know it's an accord is yeah. you can smell uh, the massive linalol yeah. and it has the massive top note. Yeah. I can't compare this to Interlude Man for Aaron because I don't have a bottle of Interlude, but um, it, it is quite a similar fragrance, but. Dark and like sultry, it. I think this one is yeah. it, but not, no, not for you. I don't think it's dark. Okay, fine. And uh, here we go, next one. Okay. So just a quick reassess. No, I don't like it. Yeah. Bits of personal. personal so personal boring thing. Tom Ford is what you uh, described yeah, this one yeah, as. Yeah, that's exactly what I put it's it It's Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. This is a clone of Tuscan Leather yeah, yeah, from could... Perfume Parlor. Okay. Um, it's, 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 one of, it's one of my, personally, it's one of my favorite uh, interpretations of, um, uh, that Perfume Parlor do over Tom Ford. Yeah, I think it's, it's a boring it's really Tom Ford, nice. that's exactly yeah. right. It's about 80%. But you said that about the the original, which yeah. the original was the one Maybe you smelled next to it. Yeah. That's the original Tuscan leather. I remember it being really heavy. It has, Do people do say that in years gone by, it's yeah, used I, to be I, heavier and stronger. I smelled yeah. this 10, 10, 8, 10 years ago. Yeah, I think very it has been really heavy, nasty, yeah. grindy fragrance. Yeah. yeah. And it's got rid of, it's now a lot lighter. I yeah. don't remember it being like this at all. Yeah, it's a common thing people say that. Yeah. Yeah. It does smell like a, the boring cousin of yeah. the. <laughs> okay, so you think the Perfume Parlor clone is of lesser quality yeah, than absolutely. the. Yeah, absolutely. All right, yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. They're, missing, fine. they're missing out key accords okay. uh, in it. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, okay. Now you quite liked this one the first time around. Okay, it's the sweetness. The, the first one is my, uh, the one which I like, which is benzoin, but that's mm -hmm. a personal thing. This one is um, from a company called Dua Fragrances. It's called Fortune, and it is their interpretation of a very, very popular fragrance that gets a lot of love called Naxos from a company called Zerja. Okay, well, um, I can, all I can smell is the, it's sort of like the almond and yeah, yeah, that, that's what I can sort of smell. There is citrus up top of this, like you yeah. said, you did pick that out. Um, it's uh, the Accords listed, this, you, obviously you're picking up on the aroma chems in it, but the Accords listed are predominantly uh, honey and tobacco. What you did say about this uh, was the cherry, yeah. and it is like a cherry tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I get from it. So I can see where you were getting the kind of fruity cherry. Accord. I can't smell. I did a lot with tobacco, so yeah. I, but I, um, I can't. I can't really smell tobacco, to be honest. Okay. If I'm very honest, if it's you. It's a very like, loud fragrance. This one. This uh, yeah, this yeah. dominates a room when you walk in. It does Naxos. Um, and you know, for the record, I think I've tested this against Naxos, and I think I can't really tell too much of a difference. I, I yeah, I think it's I think it's good. I think it's been well. Yeah. I think it's been it's it's well blended. It's yeah, a good yeah, blend, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's a good blend. Yeah. I quite like the cherry with the almond, but that makes me want yeah. bake all time. It's a beaut it's a beautiful yeah. fragrance. That I really enjoy that. Uh, okay, on to the last one. Let's just. Uh, Reassess this one. Really boring. I smell this like this. It's just. Do you know what I feel when I sort of when I yeah, when I tell us what you feel. That's what well, we want to know. When I sort of smell this sort of thing, I feel disappointed. Okay. Because I think um, as an independent perfumer who's make I can make fragrances really fast to make things that are very different. Mm -hmm. I would love to see the fragrance industry coming out with unique, exciting 
fragrances instead of copying. Yeah. I think it's a bit like a get out of jail card. Okay. So, yes, I like the grapefruit. I think it's fresh. Yes, I think it's nice. I think it's clean. I think it's easy to wear. I think it's a man's fragrance, but I think it's disappointing. Yeah. Because I think it's, uh, you know, it's <laughs> the money that goes into dis disappointing for a consumer, yeah. to, to be really honest with you. Do you feel the same way when you smell Aventus? Uh, I have never smelled Ventus to be honest with you. So I've sort of I've smelt it in passing, and I've sort okay. of I've smelt it on people. Um, I've never. Yeah, done you that. did say this was a smell that you that you would smell a lot around and about. Yeah, so I've sm I smelt yeah. it in Manchester. I smelt this walking through yeah. um, the Armdale. Yeah, so this is where I've sort of smelt it, yeah. and this is why I think it's. Um, it is based on Aventus. It's a copy of Creed's Aventus. Uh, this is one that. They're, that a lot of people say is their best. They've done very uh, uh, lots of iterations of Creed Aventus because there's lots of different batches. Yeah, of Creed yeah, yeah, of and, course. Um, so uh, this is one that a lot of people say is the best. Okay. Copy of Creed Aventus. It's called Emperor X Straight by Parfums Vintage. So they're a company based in the UK. Um, they do uh, primarily put their own slant on very popular fragrances. Yeah. I, I so I can smell, yeah. So I, because of my brain, I can sort of, if I imagine when I smell Creed, Creed's got that sweet, mm. um, what's the word, like pineapple-y, yeah. juicy. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's, I think it's, I understand but why it's nice. Pineapple, yeah. some vanilla in there. But there's, uh, there's they, they put, uh, there's masses of uh, that linalol in it, mm -hmm. which is where you're getting that sharpness, that sort of sharpness. Yeah. I, uh, yeah so I, you I, mentioned linalol. A lot is that something that is very heavily used yes. in a lot of fragrances. Yeah, yeah, it's a way when a citrus accord is needed. Yes, is yes, that yes, when it's yes, used? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes. It's, it's, it's very, um, it's a nice thing to use, but if you smell it, it's quite allergenic. Yeah. So it's in a lot of citrus fruits, limonene, linalol, geraniol, yeah. they're sort of all uh, interconnected yeah. together. Okay. I think it's uh, disappointing. I feel, yeah, I, feel right. dis I feel disappointed. I think your your favourite of those was um, the uh, the Naxos yeah. uh, copy, which is the Doer's um, okay. Fortune. Um, it's out of the clones that I have. It is definitely one of my favourites because yeah. I think it is closest, uh, very very close to to it. I remember um, Masam Raza, who's the um, creative director of Doer Fragrances. I remember speaking to him about it, and he said um, when it came out through the, uh, the the chromatography machine, it was a, a 98% match in terms of the aroma chems to the original Naxos. Okay, do you want to know how I feel about uh, dupes and all that sort yes, of stuff? Yes, please I have, do. I have very strong opinions about dupes, so speaking as it, so I have two opinions. One yeah. is if companies don't want them to be duped, they need to be more creative. So that's my first thing. Mm -hmm. So it's their fault for getting copied. You can okay. copy mine because there's so many tinctures and so much like weird chemistry gone into it. So that's my first thing. So if the companies sure. don't want to be copied, make something unique. Make come up with it. Get an amazing creative chemistry. Which I feel um, happens with. Uh, funny you should say that. One that I don't think can be copied very well is Roger Parfums Enigma, my favourite fragrance, and uh, I think it's so complex and so different and creative. He's using massive naturals. Yes. So that I can smell the naturals combined. He he's creating fragrance similar to myself where there is the naturals combined yeah. with the aroma chemicals and yeah. the naturals are very very expensive and also musks he's using some very expensive musks yeah. so and, okay. and fixatives that are the very expensive things how i feel about dupes is i feel so when you have companies that are like tom ford there's the 145 pounds 165 pounds i don't know how much it is now for for the collection yeah. that goes to pay the perfumer's wage that goes to pay all the hundreds of people when these dupes come in mm. It pisses me off because I think that they are taking money away from these companies and yep. when these people... Many people share the same opinion. And yep. when, so you are you are stopping Tom Ford and the perfumers making the next stuff because you're taking money away. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, I, I just think it's like um, taking the magic away from something really yep. beautiful. And I think perfumery is beautiful and I love being part of the yep. industry. And it feels a bit like um, dishonest, if there's a dishonesty behind it, which I don't okay. like. And I feel ethics wise, I feel that they, why don't they employ a chemist and come up with something, and all very well saying, yep. um, this is a similar aroma family to this, but we've made, we put our thing on it. Yep. That I haven't got a problem Parfums with. Parfums Vintage are kind of doing that because they're putting their own thing on it, but it is being sold off the back of being Yeah, and I, 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 I feel it's yeah. there, I feel there's a dishonesty and yep. I, don't, I don't like okay. it. That's, that's a personal right. thing. So you love the clones then? Yeah. Great. Thanks for sharing your opinion. <laughs> um, we always want honest opinions here on Fragmental and uh, thank you for that. I'm sure the viewers out there will, many will agree with you and many will appreciate your yeah. honesty. Aaron, thanks again for coming in and uh, letting us know what you think about some fragrances. We'll do more of these. I'll find another category. Uh, obviously 
obviously this was clone based, this was five clone fragrances, I just thought, you know, for, uh, from a perfumer's point of view, it would be interesting to see, uh, you know, what you felt about the quality of the blends with the clones, uh, which was mixed. Um, but it was interesting for you to smell a couple of the genuine ones next next to them as well. So thank you for doing My that. My pleasure. All right, are you going to come back again? Absolutely. Do more? Depends Absolutely. on the comments below yeah, this video yeah, yeah. as to whether he yeah. wants to come back. But anyway, we're going to wrap things up. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It's always nice to have Aaron on the channel. He seems a very popular guest. So do leave some comments down below. Let us know if you want to see Aaron back on rating more cheapies. fragrances. You want to see more cheap? More cheapies. More? You, you, he'd love the cheapies one. Maybe we'll Gross. do more cheapies. I think I've not, <laughs> we've run out of the cheapies. I think uh, I didn't have that many cheapies. But anyway, we'll get Aaron back and we'll, we'll do some more fun stuff for you. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.